I don't know how to do the chat. Okay. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. I gotta figure out how to. Hey y'all, bear with me. Bear with me, bear with me. There we go. I got some people on this one. I don't know what happened, y'all. Can y'all hear me? Please let me know if y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Okay, I see you. Oh, thank God y'all can hear me. I'm so sorry, y'all. Ooh, we. I am not um, a tech, the tech person, so I apologize. I hope people um, are able to see this one. Um, let me see. Ooh, we y'all. I am so sorry. I really am, but bear with me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, thank you, y'all. Y'all can see me. All right, y'all. What's going on, everybody? So this is my second episode of Cup and Conversations. Grab your cup. All right, I'm going to bring the conversation with your assistance and your help. We're going to have a little good conversation here it's all about getting to know me. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. This is your girl, Patrice, Pinch of Soul Cooking. Obviously, we're not cooking today, but we're going to have some good old conversation today. So, all right, I'm going to uh, pull up some questions that I received um, from Instagram and from um, a few people that I know, you might hear background noises, but that's okay, because I told y'all I am a family, I have a husband, I have kids, I have a cousin, I have nieces around here, so um, it's a different one, because um, <laughs> I put it on Facebook, <laughs> so um, I appreciate y'all hanging with me, because the other one is not working, so if you see anyone on the other one, tell them it's not there. Um, I would try to delete that one if I can, but let me see if I can do that right now. Some people say it's not showing up. It's on a totally different one, y'all. So let's see here. Um, yeah, this one is not working. So let me go ahead and delete that one. Let's see. I don't know what's going on, y'all. <laughs> Okay, well, this one is going on right now. So the other one is not. All right, so with that being stated, for those who don't know me, my name is Patrice. That's a common question, right? What's your name? Um, how old are you? Hmm, I'm 43. <laughs> how many kids do you have? I have eight kids. Don't be shocked, okay, with that question. Um, let me see. Where am I from? I am from Chicago, Illinois. I am now um, in California. I have been in California now for about, oh my gosh, over 20 years now. So more than half my life. Wow. <laughs> thank y'all so much for joining. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see a few names that I do recognize. Um, hey, Naturally TT, that is my pool bear right there. Check her out, go to her channel. She is all about being natural from her hair. And man, she'd be doing some great workouts. So check her out. Thank you, Kenyana, for joining. I hope I said that right. Thank you, Desiree, for being here. I appreciate you as well. Um, hey, Maya, how you doing? Uh, thank you so much. I don't know. Um, I think that's, is that is your name Deja? I believe that what it is. I'm sorry. I, I see your name up here. Said relaxing meditation sounds is Deja, right? Let me know. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, Alicia, hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. <laughs> so um, let me see what other questions I have. Because this is all about getting to know me, right? Y'all want to know something about me. I love chamomile tea. Just so y'all know, that's what I'm looking on this morning. I thought about having some a mimosa because I was like, oh my god, but I, I, I digress. <laughs> um, mukbang that thing. Thank you so much for being here. 
just from that name, I'm guessing you do mukbangs, right? I, you know, I love, obviously I'm in the kitchen, right? I love cooking, so I like mukbangs as well. Uh, let's see. Okay. So over here, what's your favorite meal to cook? Okay. So let me give y'all a little background story on this before I tell y'all what I love to cook. Because as y'all know, uh, pinch of soul cooking, right? It's about so cooking and my whole theory is it's all about cooking from the heart. So if you're cooking from the heart, then you're soul cooking. That's just my thing. Um, but I went to culinary school. I did get my degree in culinary arts. So for me, I was like to, like to travel around the region. So I like to cook different things, you know, from the Asian foods, from the Caribbean foods to the, you know, even in my own United States region, you know, the Southern food, the Midwestern foods, it's just different stuff, right? However, I want to get more into Indian foods right now. That's my thing. I've been want to, you know, dabble a little bit more into that because I love those flavors. Um, I like to bounce around. That's just me. But yes, soul food cooking, I definitely got that down packed, you know, but the body and the weight, I got to learn how to uh, pull back on the butter and stuff. So <laughs> that's that. Um, okay, there we go. That's some days. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Um, let me see. If you had to eat only one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Lord have mercy. Um, <laughs> my cousin's at my ribs. That's true, because he's about to cook up some ribs today, y'all. <laughs> I was like, bro, you leave because I need my ribs. Uh, <laughs> but one meal, I would say, is my mama's salmon croquettes and her smothered potatoes. For some reason, I can never... Uh, recreate her meal the way she does is just something about how she cooks it. I can get in here and I can do it. It just don't taste like mama's. You know what I'm saying? So that's one meal I can eat every day, all day for the rest of my life because um, when she comes out here to visit me, she knows before she gets on that plane, she got to make those salmon croquettes and those mother potatoes. If I'm visiting her, she know before I leave to go to the airport, I got to have my smothered potatoes and my salmon uh, croquettes. Um, Oh, and just real quick, I have a surprise for y'all. I have a surprise. So at any moment, I can tell you what it is. I'm doing a giveaway today. Even though I have not hit my 500 subscribers, I was like, you know what? I'm still going to do a giveaway for those who have been following me. Um, keep watching, okay? If you are my family, you cannot win this, though, because <laughs> you already know it. Um, so <laughs> they yell they're like, that's rude. <laughs> Hey, Bump and Beyond, that's my girl. How you doing? Y'all go follow her. Uh, she does a lot of lifestyle uh, right now, and she has the cutest babies. And, oh, my God, y'all got to follow her as well. Um, hey, Asia, that's my other poo right there. She is amazing. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something about Asia because she has um, a lifestyle video um, page as well. And let me tell you, she be on there giving you the work, okay? She be doing reactions. I don't know that not reaction. She did the what she do recently. She did the um I forgot what the name is, like y'all smack the people that one. I thought that was really funny. But she gave me a tip on something she did. She made some uh shrimp and grits, and I have never ever used milk, but now I want to try what she did. She had y'all go follow her. She be giving y'all tips on all kinds of different stuff. I'm telling you, I love her channel as well. Hey, June Creation is here. That's my other pool right there. Y'all, yeah, make sure everybody I'm shouting out, make sure y'all go follow them. They are amazing. Um, <laughs> she's actually picking her free of charge. She's in the other room, y'all. Don't pay much attention to her. <laughs> Thank you, Maya. Thank you so much. Uh, says, how is your family? Oh, hey, little man. <laughs> they doing good. Hey, bro. Oh, I love you. I miss you. Let's see. I know nothing compares to mama's cooking. Nothing compares to her cooking at all. I cannot, I cannot recreate that. I just made some uh, salmon croquettes. If y'all go and watch that video, let me know what y'all think. But I tell you, I tasted, I was like, this is not my mama's. <laughs> it's just a hus. Okay. Um, let me keep going. How I, I told y'all how many kids you have. I have eight. Can your kids cook? Yes. Some of them. <laughs> Some of them can cook. Some of them just ain't, they just ain't got it. Um, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? 
I still want to get to Italy. That is my place that I've been wanting to go since I was 16 years old. I was like literally close to it, but I just couldn't get there. I had this a little backstory on that, y'all. So y'all know me a little bit more about me. My mom uh, was in the uh, army, so I am an army brat, and I got to travel overseas. So we went to Germany, and I was there for three years. That's the one place that I really wanted to go that I could not go, y'all. I wanted to go so bad, but. I came not there because I got to go to Czechoslovakia. I got to go to Austria, Paris, Black Forest. Um, of course, different parts of Germany. I got to learn German. I got to eat German food, baby. I'm going to learn how to make this dog food that's from over there. I'm going to have to tell y'all what it is later. But yes, okay, I'm, I'm telling y'all. Um, uh, yes, make you some, girl. Make you some. Make you some. Okay. Let me see. What else? Um, are you team Coke or team Pepsi? Neither. I don't like dark drinks. Uh, <laughs> I do like root beer every now and then. Um, would you rather get an hour massage or spend an hour in a hot tub? I'd rather get an hour massage and I'd rather for my husband to do it. <laughs> Is it harder to raise girls or boys? It's harder to raise the Girls, y'all. These girls are harder to raise. Woo-wee. They listening to me, too. Um, does your husband cook or do you do all the cooking? Well, in my household, every everybody, almost everybody has a cook day. Yesterday, my husband did cook. He made some tacos, bomb tacos. He's really good at that. So, yes, everybody in my house cooks except for um, the little people. They don't cook. Um... Well, that's something that you would tell your younger self. Something I would tell my younger self is be patient. Um, don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself and everything's going to be all right. Just, just move along because I, I worry about a lot of stuff. Um, do you like ice cream? If so, what's your favorite flavor? Do not judge me because I am 43 years old, but I love butter pecan. If they sold black walnut out this way in California, I would eat that also. I love those two. And every now and then I love strawberry. What's your favorite music artist? Ooh, no, no, you didn't ask that question. <laughs> okay, listen, I am a diverse person. I love the 80s, but I also love, love, love the old school vibe of music. And I love jazz and easy listening music. Uh, favorite artist? I don't really have one. I'm lying. I'm a beehive. I'm, I'm hold on because if anything she drops, I'm listening to it. So yeah, that. Um, let me see. Going back up here, I've never had German food. I'm gonna make a few dishes. I gotta ask my uh, my girl, my sister, because she's actually um, half German. So I'm gonna ask her to help me out with that. Um, it's a bigger thing, so I want to make. Each person has a cook day. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, because I need help around here. Plus, this in my household, there is eight people, okay, that lives here. I have three additional people right now. So, can you imagine trying to cook every single day for all these people, y'all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I go to this thing. I know I go to school full time. I'm trying to get my master's degree. So, with that being said, um. I need some help around here. I need Jesus, to be honest with you. <laughs> I need some help around here. Um, yes, it does. It gives me a break. That's why um, we incorporated in it because when I was in the Navy, I used to have to drive an hour and a half to get to work. It was 91, I got clocked to job, 91 miles from my garage to my parking spot where I was working at. So imagine in California, by the way, you know the traffic is cray cray out here. Um, so sometimes an hour and a half, sometimes if it was raining, cause these folks can't drive in California. If it was raining, then it was even longer. One time I spent three hours going to work and three hours coming home that day. I did not cook. I came home. I took off my clothes. I took a shower and I went to bed. I was not having it. All right. She said, what is black walnut? It's a flavor. It's a flavor of the ice cream. Just like butter pecan. It's just black walnut. It has walnut, walnut chunks inside of it. And it's, it's so good. Um, 
Yes, please, please like and uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed. What you waiting for? Come on and subscribe. Join the party up in here, y'all. Okay, help your girl out. I'm trying to reach that 500 before the end of this month. And again, y'all stick around right now. Subscribe right now. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm giving away a giveaway today, a surprise giveaway. But I'm also going to be doing a giveaway when I hit the 500 and then another giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers, y'all. And trust me, you're going to want these, okay? And because, and because I'm a cooking person, right? Some of the stuff is going to be. Yes, I will do cash every now and then, but I'm going to also be doing some stuff that, you know, you would want in your kitchen. All right. So. All right. All right. So let's see here. Um, oh, what is your favorite candy? I love extremes. Those are air hair extremes, but I haven't been feeling it lately because I'm on a new uh, lifestyle change with eating. So my taste buds have been changed. I tasted one. I was like, well, <laughs> Like this is not this ain't is right, and I love the love, love gummy bears. Now those I can, you know, I can eat all day every day. Um, hey, beauty crush, that's another one of my pools. Go look, go check her out, y'all. You want to get your face beat? Learn how to do that. Check her out. Um, thank you so much, beauty crush. I appreciate that. I look, y'all, basic. I don't know how to do all that stuff, but you know, I'm 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 gonna get it. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay. So let me see what else I have. How many concerts have you been to? I don't even, okay, let me see. Don't judge me, but I've been to Art Philly two towns. That's before all that stuff came out, okay? I've been to his concert twice. Um, I've been to Beyonce's concert. I've been to Jay-Z concert. Um, I don't know if y'all remember back in the day, like mint condition. Some of y'all might be too young for them. I don't know if y'all remember them back in the day. Um, I went to theirs. Oh my god, I've been to quite a few. I'm trying to think who else. Janet Jackson, that was bomb. I've been to her concert. Ti, I did. They did a summer a summer jam where a lot of people came out. I went to a winter jam when a lot of people came out, so I was able to see a lot of people. And on top of that, I'm gonna tell you to be honest with y'all. My favorite, I just thought about that. My favorite crush, celebrity crush from back in the day was LL Cool J. Baby, when I saw him in concert, my husband was like, really? <laughs> I was like, you don't understand. That's that's LL Cool J. And when I say he was like, he was right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, baby. Ooh. Okay. Sorry. I'm married now. Sorry. <laughs> Let me act like I got some sense. Um, Hey, Simply uh, Jemini, that's my other pool right there. Check her out. She does. Um, oh, let me tell you about her real quick. She is the reason why I have Shin right now pulled up on my tabs right now because I'm trying to go shopping. But she also helps, you know, dark sisters out with getting your glam, you know, with your face getting that beat up. Too. I'm telling y'all, follow these. These are some amazing people. Make sure y'all go follow them. Matter of fact, anybody that's on here, go and click on their page after this and <laughs> subscribe to them. Okay. Make sure y'all check them out. All right. Uh, I'm trying to go back and see who I have on here as well. Um, DC DNC nation. How you doing? Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Summer D or that's my girl right there. Y'all have to guys to check out her, uh, her uh, page. Let me tell you. So she's doing, she started with the new y'all and it's amazing. It's um, Girl Talk and she just did one recently this past week. She started this new series, okay? And she was talking about something that I was like, wow, she, she just hit me with it. It was uh, controlling your anger. Man, that came right on time. I'm going to tell you, that came right on time, y'all. So she is talking about a lot of different things. So go and check her page. That's going to be a really good series. So check her out. Um, you've never been to a concert before, Beauty Crush? Oh, you got to go to one when, when all this stuff, you know, gets better. Just go check it out. She said, eight kids. Hats off to you. I commend any woman that can handle a large family. My grandma has eight kids and my aunts and uncles has a max of 47. Thank you so much. Yes, I, my mom only had two but my daddy, he was a rolling stone, I guess you could say, because there is six of us. 
I don't know what it's one of them. I don't know. Um, his mom cut off all communication with uh, my dad. And then she came at my mom crazy. So, yeah, she had to go. <laughs> um, LL Cool J5. <laughs> uh, he's still fine. Yes, he is still fine. She said, You funny, sis. Hey, sis, that's my sister right there. Hey, Rachel, how you doing, girl? How my niece is doing? How my niece is doing? Y'all, everybody in my family can cook too. Hey, Moments with Joy. That's my other girl. Go check her out. I'm look, I'm telling, I'm trying to get to Nigeria. I'm trying to get over there. <laughs> Wish that's Ray Stop it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what's your favorite childhood memory? I have so many that I can't really um, decipher all of those, but I can tell you a lot of them in involves cooking. A lot of them in involves my grandmothers, which are not here. I just lost my last grandmother. She was 98 years old, so she almost made it to the 100. I'm not going to cry. Just so you know, you know, don't feel sorry for us and then like that. We're all still very happy. You know, she lived a long life. Um, 98 years, y'all. 98. That, that's what I'm talking about, Granny. That, that's what I'm talking about, Granny. You know what I'm saying? So, um, she lived a, a little life. Let me tell y'all, one, one little memory with her is I used to be at her house and we would watch, her thing was, one in the morning, you had to have your, um, cod liver oil. So you gave you your tablespoon full of cod liver oil and your orange juice. And our snack, me and my granny, our snack was she would give me a small bowl of orange sherbet, three to five, depending on how good I was. And I was a good child. So, you know, three to five um, oatmeal, iced oatmeal cookies and then a little small thing of prunes. OK, so to this day, y'all, I would eat. Prunes. I don't care. I love them. I eat them like candy. Um, and then we would watch, uh, back in the day, it was the Golden Girls. Everybody know about the Golden Girls. We watched that. Amen, 227, The Jeffersons, Good Times, all those shows. So I still, to this day, love those shows because of her. And my other granny, one of her big things was watching um, uh, Murder, She Wrote. So those are still some, when I watch those, it just brings me back. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, <clears throat> do you ever think you may start your own culinary business being like a personal chef? I was going to be doing personal chef. However, with all this stuff going on, I was like, I'm not going to your house if I don't know you um, and you're not coming over here. So <laughs> I kind of like want to do something different. So you all know that I would be doing like a cooking show type of thing. I would come on live and do some of those here with you all. And I mean, like actually cooking everything Like we're going to be cooking side by side. So we'll be in a Zoom and we'll be cooking together. I'm doing that. If you're interested, you could join my uh, Facebook group. All right. It's the same thing. Pinch of soul cooking. It's pinch of soul cooking everywhere if you're trying to locate me okay on all social medias and if you're just tuning in what's going on thank you so much for joining us make sure you hit the like make sure the thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time i come on do another video okay and while you're here um if you're gonna stick around remember i'm gonna be doing a surprise giveaway today all right so at any time i will announce what that is I'm sorry, new people, you might not know what it's going to be because it's going to be something I do all the time. So just stay tuned for that. You don't have to let, let me know what that is. Um, uh, she said, I love 227. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jack A. Um, she said, I'm too young for mint condition. That was before my time. <laughs> yeah, mint condition is back in the day, y'all. Back, back, back in the day. Um, Yes, make sure you join. Thank you so much, uh, TT. I need to zoom. What is that oil? What is it for? What 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 oil? Y'all see the oil back there? Or something? What, what oil? What oil? Did I say? Oh, okay. oh, cod liver oil. Oh, let me, okay. So, cod liver oil. 
it's supposed to help with your um, insides. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to also help you to not get sick, you know, whatever. That's, that was what I was told. I'm not going to lie to you. Even as an adult, I never looked it up. I was like, my granny said it's good. My granny said I'm supposed to take it, so I did. Now, as an adult, I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't take it. I, that stuff was nasty. <laughs> so I'm not taking it. I, I refuse. Y'all got y'all got y'all y'all cup? What y'all got in y'all cup? Mmm. I have um, chamomile, chamomile tea. That's what I'm drinking today. Chamomile tea. She said, I went to a J. Cole concert. My husband was not happy with me fangirling over him. Look, it's like, come on, give me, give me, give me my moment, right? Give me my moment. Shoot, you know what I'm saying? She said, I love Sherbert. I love how you're also supporting others. Oh, yes. Let me tell y'all something. I love supporting others. I am not going to lie. I had to actually stop myself because it was like I was just taking money. I'm like, here to my, my black sisters. Here y'all go. Here y'all go. I'm, you know, throwing it out there. So, yeah. So, um, to say I had to I had to slow down a little bit, but I still show support. I still show love. I will share the heck out of you. Um, I will hype you up. I will, like right now, I'm shouting y'all out. Please make sure y'all go and y'all, soon we get done here, y'all click on everybody's that's joining me right now, that's uh, talking. Go ahead and click on their, on their pages and their channels, I should say, and subscribe to them. I'm telling you, everybody on here drop good content straight up. We all try to, do, you know, try and all to reach the same goal, which is monetize on YouTube. I'm not going to lie. I'm not on here for the games or, you know, just a hobby. This is actually to help, you know, support my business because the girl right here is going to be writing a cookbook. And let me tell you the reason why I joined YouTube. Let me explain this to y'all. So again, I love cooking. That's just my thing. Okay. I love it to death. So in order for me to get people to know who I am, my daughters was like, why don't you go on YouTube? And I was like, I'm not going on no YouTube. I'm not going on there. Because, you know, because me, I told you, I'm from Chicago. I can get a little irate at times. I can get a little, you know, what, what's, what's popping? You know what I'm saying? What's good when people come to troll me? So <laughs> I was like, I can't do that because I see how people are so rude on YouTube. If you don't like what I'm cooking, then that's cool. You know what I'm saying? You can, I seen people give it, you know, the, the thumbs down whatever you don't like it that's fine you know what i'm saying we all got different taste buds we all have different ways of how we do stuff but there's no need for you to come up on my page though or on my channel or anywhere else and disrespect me disrespect my my, my talents my skills and one thing i will not tolerate is disrespect when it comes to my family that's when i draw the line it's like oh you that kind of oh you that right right you 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 gangster like that <laughs> You want to test mine? So with that being stated, that was one of the reasons why at first I wouldn't get on. Then my kids were like, well, mom, we'll read your, con we'll read your comments. <laughs> if, you know, whatever. So that is my main reason for joining is because my kids was like, mom, get on YouTube. And actually, I've been enjoying it. It's a fun experience. So, yeah, that's my little rant about that. Um, let me see what else. Yeah. See, Rachel knows. My sister knows. That car I live in oil is... Uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, let's see. Um, you're in Cali, you know, as long as we like to be bad and bougie when we travel. Um, yeah, look, but I ain't lie though. Yeah, you come to Cali, I got you. I got you. I'm telling you, I'm all my uh my I call them all my poo bears, y'all. So they're all on here. Thank you so much for you know joining with me here today. Y'all come to Cali and you be like, Patrice, I'm here. I got you. My doors are open to you always. So I can come up here. I cook you a good meal. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna say the word, but yeah, it needs to go away. This this mess right right now is it's too much. It's too much. She said I'm coming to the cookout. <laughs> come on, Kenyatta, come to the cookout. Yes. Um she got the, yes, yeah, she does have a remedy. She said, I'm not on here for the game. <laughs> I'm serious, though. I, I, let me tell y'all something that's so funny. I had my first person, and he didn't say anything really bad. He was just critiquing without the my recipe that I was doing, which you can go check out, by the way, is um, how to make Chicago public school cookies. 
he was my first person who came on and said something negative. And ever since then, that particular video shot up. So thank you for coming on, whoever you were, saying your little negative mess. Because guess what? Even a school principal noticed some cookies, boo. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, let me get back into some of this stuff over here. <laughs> um, come on, Shana. Come on. I'm here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes. And that's, I just, I had to look at the name again. Yes, that's my other fool, y'all. Click on her channel. Follow her. A lot of my girls do a lot of lifestyle stuff and they be having me cracking up, especially um, when they be doing their reaction videos. Lord have mercy. I, I've, I've been out the game for a while, y'all. So some of those like songs that come on, I'm like, who is this? Where they, where they come from? Some of the words I might not like, but the beats, I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> and yes, and by the way, I'm a Cardi B fan too. I love, you know, Meg, is it Meg Thee Stallion? I like some of her songs. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my nickname, I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> I am not named. Oh, actually, I am named after somebody. Not my first name, but my middle name. I'll tell you my middle name. Um, I am that name. I don't think my mom named me after this person, but she wanted my first name to she wanted my first name to be Selena. And my grandmother was like, nah. <laughs> so my mom changed her name. So now my name is Patrice Selena. Yes, I love my name. Um okay, so being that my mother was in the military and then I joined the military right behind her. So y'all people asking me where I've been, um, and stuff like that. So for those don't know, I was in the United States Navy for 20 years. Yes, yes, yes. Your girl did the whole full 20 years plus 15 days. She gave all that time and sacrifice in the Navy. Um, so with my mom being in the Army and me being in the Navy, I did retire out as a Chief Petty Officer E7. So I had been to Germany. So I remember I'm from Chicago. Okay. So I first we went to New York. So I spent five years was it five years? I think four to five years, something like that, in New York, upstate. So I got to visit a lot of those, you know, like I went to Queens, I went to Brooklyn, Manhattan, all that good stuff there. Okay, it's totally different than got dang on Chicago. I can tell you that much. I do know. Um, then I went to Germany. Then we came back over. We went to Oklahoma. I joined the uh, Navy, and I have traveled around the world. They have put me. They put me stationed in California, and left my behind here. Yeah, that's another that's another story time. But <laughs> so I've been here since 1995. No, 96. I graduated in 95. So 96. I have been in California. But, you know, we on the ship. So we travel around the world. So I have been to ooh, I've been to Australia. Hawaii is not considered, you know, another country because they're part of the United States. But I've been here to Hawaii. Um, I've been to Guam. Um, I've been to Hong Kong. Oh my gosh, Hong Kong, Korea, South Korea, <laughs> um, Singapore. That's in Hong Kong already. Singapore, Japan. I've been around the world, y'all. It's, it's amazing. I, that journey was a, that was an amazing. I can't think of everywhere I went to, y'all, but it was it's been a lot of places. And then, of course, um, traveling myself throughout the United States. Um, I've been to a lot of different states. I think I've been to more than half of the states that, you know, we have, which is 50, right? One state I have not been to is Alaska. I want to go to Alaska. Um, somebody asked me, was I from, have I been to North Carolina? Um, I've driven through North Carolina. I don't think we stopped in North Carolina. We didn't stop in North Carolina. So, wait, I don't, y'all, I don't remember. I've been to so many places I can't, now I don't remember. That's crazy. But my, my, the place I love the most is I've been to um, off the coast of Africa, uh, Seychelles. I've been there. I want to go to Africa, though. Um, I've been to Australia. Uh, I, let me see. Did I name all the Asian places, territories? Um, I did not get to the Philippines. I really wanted to go there. I didn't get a chance to get there. Um, so, yeah, I've been to a lot of places. I've been to a lot of places. Um, She's drinking a berry smoothie. Oh, I like smoothies. My daughter makes some of the bomb smoothie, y'all. I may have to have her come on and make some smoothies for y'all. Um, let's see. How was the training experience? Um, 
you talk about for the Navy. Let me just put y'all on something. I can't swim. <laughs> I can't swim. So that part of it was um, interesting. I, I can't swim, y'all. But I will say I had fun. Do I want to do it again? Hell no. <laughs> but I had fun while I was there. And just being in the Navy was a great experience. If you want to join, you go right on ahead, do your thing. You, I don't think you will real uh, will regret it. I don't think so. You know, some people do. I had a great experience. It's just about how you make it. Because I was only supposed to be there for four years. I stayed and did twenty. So something must have been good. Um, thank you, Ray. What's like being on the ship? So I've been on a couple of ships. I uh, did. The USS Kincaid, which is now underwater. Uh, we sea swap with the USS Fletcher, which is now underwater. They decommissioned all these ships. And I was also on the USS Nimitz. Some of you probably have heard that one. That is a carrier. That mug is huge. It's big. Now, life on a ship is different for everybody. Um, that's another experience. Bias in itself, being on a ship with a whole bunch of people. And this is when you start to learn that everybody don't have good home training. So let's just say there's some females out there who are nasty as, mm. but I had to deal with it. I got through it. Yeah, I enjoyed myself. That's actually how I met my husband. I'm not going to incriminate myself, but we met <laughs> on the ship. And yeah, so there you go. Ah, hey, God, baby. Hi, Genesis. I did say my, that's my God, baby. I did say her name. Hi, Genesis. I love you. Um, she said, you respect my game. So I asked my kids. I asked my kids. I said that all the time. I said, oh, y'all trying to test my gangster up in here. Where you trying to test your gangster, mom? <laughs> y'all be trying to test my gangster. Y'all trying to bring that shot right out of me? What's up? No, I was kidding. Um, <laughs> let me see. Uh, oh, your brother is in the Navy. What does he do? I was a, a storekeeper in the Navy. That's, and I ain't gonna lie, I really enjoyed that job. But after 20 years, it was time for something different. It was time to go. Okay. It was time to go. I gave them their 20 and I'm done. Um, okay. So to you don't have to swim to join the Navy. You just have to float. That's all. You got to take you through all the swimming and stuff like that. But you have to be able to float. That's the one thing. Because if the ship goes down, you got to be able to float and stay afloat, right, for a while. So no. And plus, they give you a life a, the, the life vest anyway. If, if this if it's going down, grab your life vest, find your uh your your boat, and there you go. You you good to go. Um, this is I can't swim either. Um, I want to join the military, but my. Couldn't pass the here. Oh, I remember you telling me that. I remember that it would have been a good experience. I let me tell you though, I actually was going to join the Air Force, but when I came back, the um recruiter for the Air Force was not there. And I went with a friend and he wanted to join the uh, Navy. And so I went with him. I stood by the door, just like looking like, where's this Air Force recruiter? Where where is he at? And then about an hour later, I was signing papers to join the Navy, y'all. They got me. But I don't regret it. So um, she's like, I can't spend by be acting like it. Okay, no worries. Go ahead, Ray. Oh, you got your, you drinking your uh, ginger and turmeric water? That's what I'm talking about. Um, okay. So nothing else there. Let me go. I'm trying to make sure I, I go from here to there. Okay. Uh, which of your parents are you closest to? My mom. I love my dad. I do. I love my daddy, but I'm closer to my mother. Um, my grandparents, I, they're not here anymore. I said, I have one, I have my granddad. He's still alive. So I appreciate him still sticking around. I love him so much. Um, okay. One of my biggest fears is bugs. Mm. I, I can't, I cannot do it. This, here's one of my things I be telling people. If it has more legs than me or less legs than me, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. And I could tell y'all, y'all want to hear this one? I don't know if it's a really good thing. I'm in the kitchen, but okay, look. 
So in Chicago, y'all know we have all kinds of, you know, bugs, right? Especially if you're living in the projects and stuff like that. You know, people ain't clean. Then you might get some things that they might have. Y'all feel me? Well, put it like this. I was at someone's house and the bugs was overwhelming. And my mom woke me up slapping me because there was bugs falling off the ceiling. And ever since that day, I was scared of bugs. I'm not going to say which one it was. Just think of the one that's inside your house and they, you know, get infested type of thing. So since then, no, I've been scared of bugs. I, I don't care if it's, um, I'm definitely scared of spiders. Okay. I'm me and spiders don't get along. However, if it's dead, y'all, I'm still running. And my husband, like, are you kidding me? It's dead. It might move. <laughs> Because I have had that happen. And if y'all don't know, I'm going to tell you a little something, something. Spiders, can you spray them? They ball up to a ball. They can hold their breath for 72 hours. Once pest control told me, I said, you tell me it can hold its breath for 72 hours. So I would spray a spider and then smash it. <laughs> but it's something I'd be like, I'd be like, ah! <laughs> you know, like that. I'd be like, ah! I have a club of eyes and everything, y'all. So yeah, I'd be like, come from mass up here. I'd be like, ah! Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, oh, thank you, Desiree. I love you. She said because now I have you in my life. I love her. <laughs> um. Oh, you had kidney surgery. They, you know what's crazy though? I will say my people just trying to join these uh, the military. I don't know what's going on, but they deny a lot of people lately. I don't know why, but. I'm like, you need the people, you know, I, I'm sorry. You can join that sucks. Um, oh, he's a swole. Okay. Melinda. Okay. He's an officer. That's what's up. I like seeing my, um, uh, my black people get up in the ranks. My, um, my, one of my best friends, she's also an officer. I love that. I love it. Um, she said it could be playing dead. Yes, I'm telling you, you spray them, they ball up, and they sit there. So you ever wonder when you spray a, a spider, you come back maybe a few minutes or um, an hour or so later, and that thing ain't there? It has got up and has risen and has moved. I'm, I'm telling y'all, so if you spray a spider, smash it, okay? Like, yes. Mm -mm. She said, spice, spice is my biggest fear. I'm serious. Like, and it's so crazy. I'm like telling my husband, come kill it. He'd be like, don't kill a spider. They kill all the other bugs. Ain't no other bugs. He's like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I give him that, but I'm like, no, because I can't, I can't, like, one of my room, I can't sleep because I'm like, he might come on my, you know, crawl up on the bed. He might come up on the ceiling and fall down. No, kill it. <laughs> so I like, kept my heart, kill it. <laughs> Oh, I will do that, Benet. I sure will. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she said, yeah, I'm telling you, it has risen <laughs> and it be gone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who okay? This is not this is not but that's not you. I know who that is. You better leave me alone. <laughs> um yes, Melinda. Yes, it's the first one. I'm not going to say the word, but it's the first one. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I know who you are. I'm not I'm not messing with you. I'm not calling her, telling her nothing. So, no. Um, okay. Let's see. Who is your favorite actor and who is your favorite actress? Ooh. Ugh. Put me on the spot. Okay. This is hard because I like a lot of people and I'm it's oh I'm bad because I don't even know their names. I know their characters. <laughs> so that's bad. I know I know I know. But um one of my favorite actresses um is it's weird because she's not just an actress, but she's also a rapper. She's also um look, Queen Latif is my girl. I love her and Gabriel Union. I, I love both of them. I, I, I just do. I think they're amazing people. Um, actor, male, right? Mm. Mm. I'm going to have to get back to y'all on that one. I ain't been watching a lot of movies, y'all. 
Yes, that's one of my favorite shows. My daughter's telling me about Criminal Minds because she knows and loves me to Shamar Moore for. Woo. Anyway, but Criminal Minds is one of my favorite uh, shows. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. Y'all gonna probably think this is crazy, but one of my favorite TV shows ever. Don't judge me. Beverly Hills, 90210. Don't judge me. I grew up on that. It was one of my favorite shows. I went through the stage one time when DVDs wasn't popping yet. And I ended up buying all the cassettes. Somebody had recorded. Y'all, I spent $300 on those. That's how much I loved Beverly Hills, 90210. If anyone is on here and with, it was with me in the Navy, they know that was one of the things that when I was in port, I would watch all the time. I can actually, like, I have all the DVDs down, right? And it's on Hulu right now. And I, it's so funny, my daughter, I was telling my daughter, I was like, yo, all the episodes ain't, you know, ain't on Hulu. She's like, how you know? I was like, I can tell you what episode is which, as soon as it comes on, I can tell you what's going to happen on that episode. Okay, now that's how much I watch that show. Um, so, yeah, I love Criminal Minds as well. What else? Oh, mm, The Walking Dead. That's my favorite. Um, Walking Dead, what else? I'm on right now. The Wire, I'm watching that right now. That's on HBO Demand. I was mad because it was, at one point, I thought it was on Netflix, but it's not there anymore. So, yeah, those are some of my favorite ones. Power, I love Power when it was on. She said, Shemar Moore is fine. <laughs> I don't even know, it's crazy. He, I don't know how he looking nowadays. That's what, I don't know. I'm not sure because when you look at him on Instagram, he don't look like he be looking at his shows. All, all that makeup they be doing on them shows. I don't know. I don't know. Um, you better leave my grandma. <laughs> She's talking to you. She ain't talking to me. You know, huh? you know who he is. Um, hey, Shar, how you doing? Uh you know what's funny? I have not seen Queen Sugar. A lot of people keep telling me, and I have not seen it. Oh, another show that just came out recently is Tyler Perry's Sisters. That right, that show, he did that. He did that. Yes, Tyler Perry. Yes. Um, so yes, a different world. I love that one. My favorite one, other favorite one, yeah. I forgot that one. It's Living Single. I can watch that over and over and over again. Yes. Um, and don't judge me on this, but I enjoy the Cosby show. I know what he did. I know what he did y'all, but that money is not just, a, you know, going to him. It's going to everybody else that he had nothing to do with what's going on, you know, whatever. But I still like the Cosby show. And my husband actually bought me the whole DVD series and I ain't gonna lie. I still watch right now. I'm on season three of that show. Cause I started watching it again. I just... I don't know, you know. Um, Queen of the South, I just started watching that one. I am on season two. So I just started watching that one. Um, hey, Lori L. Oh my gosh. Hi, sister. That is my girl. She is one of my accountability partners. Thank you so much for joining me, Lori L. That is one of my business partners. She is amazing. I love her so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining, Christina. Oh, culinary creation. That means you, you do some cooking. Yes. We're going to have to uh, one day. Okay, y'all. It's almost been an hour, so let me wrap this up. Do y'all have any questions that y'all might want to ask me? Do y'all have any questions, any questions, any questions? Um, mm. There's a lot of questions on here. I'm going to have to come back to, to another episode. This is what I call cup and conversation, you guys. Um, you all, sorry, I'm supposed to say you guys, you all. Um, so what it is, is I come on to do a series where I'm not actually cooking. I'm actually sitting here and talking to you like this. You grab your cup, I bring the conversation. And of course, we all interact and engage with one another. And, you know, we just vibe it out for a little while. So this is episode two. I did one of them before, like a few months ago, when I was just talking about stuff, you know, like things around with the kitchen stuff. It was all about kitchen and cooking type of stuff. So I can do another one of those or I can do another one of these. If you're know me some more, if you will do that, y'all let me know. I want to bring you content that you want to see. So let me know what you all want to see. Um, even when it comes to cooking. If there is a meal that you can think of that you would like for me to uh, recreate, let me know. I will be coming on here. I'm not going to do stuff from my cook 
too many things out of my cookbook on here because, of course, I was just about a cookbook. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, again, if you are on here joining us, please go ahead and click on everybody and follow them. We are all here, you know, trying to do the same things together, which is grow on uh, YouTube. Also, you know, a lot of people in here have businesses. Go support their business, y'all. We need to help each other out. I'm not being um, judgmental of anybody, but I'm not going to lie. I do support a lot of my black businesses first because I feel like our dollar needs to be, you know, recycled within our community. So please let me know if you do a business. You can uh, hit me up and let me know about that. Now, the thing here is the here is the surprise giveaway. Here is the surprise giveaway. Okay. The first person who can answer this, I'm going to give you either. You have your choice. You can get either a $10 gift certificate to Starbucks or to Dunkin' Donuts, whichever, because I know some people don't like Starbucks, um, but I know people love um, Dunkin' Donuts. So here is the question. I'm sorry for my newbies. You might not um, know this answer. However, if you are my family, again, my daughters, my friends, like my, I can't say my friends, but my brother, you can't answer this. <laughs> okay, my sister, you can't do it, okay? This is how I'm going to know if you follow me, okay, to the end of my videos. What do I say at the end of my videos? First person who answered that question, you will get the $10. Don't say anything. <laughs> it actually was created by my daughter. So let me see. Let me know. I'm going to go down, down here. The first person who answers that question will get that $10 gift certificate. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Uh, ah! Moments for joy, got it. <laughs> so you watch my videos to the end. Thank you so much, Joy. That's how I know. Ah, okay. Asia, y'all think y'all was talking at the same time, so I'm gonna hook both of y'all up. So it's see you in a pinch. That is one thing that my daughter created for me. And yes, that's exactly what I say. I say see you in a pinch. I love that tagline that she gave me for my video. So yes. Ah. So y'all watch my videos to the end. Thank y'all for that support. That helps my watch time. Thank y'all. Uh, let me see what else going on over here. Um, Jenny's ASMR fun and relaxing. Thank you for joining so much. I appreciate you. Y'all make sure y'all go back and follow all these people. Mugbang that thing. Yes, yes, yes. Make sure y'all follow her as well. Paula Angelina. Is that right? Am I saying that right? Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the party. Hey. <laughs> yes, let's support each other. Please do. Please do. I see, as I'm looking here, I'm seeing a lot of my uh, sisters of color. So, yes, please hook them up. Join them. Please support them. Like I said, we need to rotate our dollars within our community, okay? Nothing against my my, my, my other people of color, you know what I'm saying? Of different, uh, I said of color, of different skin type, you know? I Hey. Okay, I love y'all too. Y'all know that. Um, see you. And I love that. Thank y'all. <laughs> okay, so uh, moments with joy in Asia. I'm gonna uh, get with y'all in, in a little while. So let me know if you want it from Starbucks or you want it from Dunkin' Donuts. Um, joy, they have. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk offline. We'll talk offline. I'll I'll get with you. Um, she says super cute. Thank you. Um. I'll be, I <laughs> just said, I'm copying everybody. No, it's actually, um, see you in a pinch. So yeah, nah, I'll be back in a pinch, but see you in a pinch. Um, that's a super cute tagline. You hear that, Ray? Someone said that's a cute tagline. Uh, she's not playing. I'll say that much. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate the love. Uh, pa Paula has a clothing business. Y'all go check her out. Make sure you support. Uh, yes, all my black queens in here. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, she said, Joy, she said, you got it first, so you got it. <laughs> My daughter says, thank y'all so much, because, yes, yeah, she created that tagline for me at the end of the video. So we um appreciate that. So y'all don't have any questions, right? Y'all don't have any questions, because we've been here almost an hour. We've been on for 54 minutes. I thank y'all for hanging out with me, y'all. That is, yes, yes, yes. 
I'm trying to get this uh, hit this first 500 milestone. And when I do that, I'll be doing another uh, giveaway. This was a surprise giveaway, y'all. See, y'all hang out with me, y'all. Do a little something, something. Um, oh, thank you. Look, that's right. Look, at, that's that's my daughter, y'all. She's like, oh, look, if y'all got any ideas, recommendations, you know, you know drop that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And that's, she is my, uh, she's my hype girl. My, yeah. She's my hype girl. She is the ultimate. She is the ultimate hype. Look, I've been here look, having a down day. She's like, yes, mom, get it. Yes. I'm like, oh, I'm going to feel myself a little bit. <laughs> um, okay. I have had so much fun today, y'all. I'm going to have to do this more often. I thank y'all so much. Oh, my goodness. I was nervous, y'all. Did it seem like it? I talk really fast, by the way. So if I'm ever talking too fast, like, hey, Patrice, slow down. It's just, I'm going to tell you a quick story about that. So I asked my mama one time. I said, mama, everybody said I talk so doggone fast. Like, I understand what I'm saying. My husband understands what I'm saying. Like, why? No one understands me. And she said, you know what? I don't understand you either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> she said, ever since you was like three, you talk so fast that I would just pick out words and be like, oh, that's what she said. Mama, why you didn't, why you didn't tell me to slow down? Because I get excited. Blah, 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 blah. I want to get it all out at once. My kids be like, what, mom? Slow down. Say it again. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, so y'all don't have it over there, Joy. Oh, we'll get something. We'll get something. Um, thank you, Tess. Oh, Tessa. Hey, boo. Make sure y'all join her too. Y'all click on her channel. She be giving y'all all the glam, all the glam stuff too, all the beautiful makeup. And she has a video, y'all. She did nothing but, um, black business owners for makeup. I believe that's what it was. So yes, go to her channel so y'all can find out all the, I didn't even know. I was saying, where these women come from? I didn't know they did. I didn't know we had that many black um, queens making makeup like that. So, yes, go follow her channel, y'all. Go subscribe to her. Um, mm, okay. We're going to figure this out, y'all. We're going to figure this out. Okay. <laughs> I, right, yeah. She's like, I don't understand you either. Hi, you my mama. <laughs> you don't understand me. But, yeah. So, no more questions, y'all. No more questions, no more questions, no more questions. Because y'all know it's about to happen, right? What's that tagline? <laughs> What's that tagline? I had so much fun today. I was oh, I had so much fun today. So today I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna sign off here in a little bit, but Y'all send a prayer up for me because the girl is trying to get her master's degree and this homework is kicking my behind. Okay, y'all. It's I'm trying to get this master's degree so I can be done with school. I'm not going back. That's well, I'm lying. I am going back, but I'm going back for something smaller. <laughs> I'm not going for a master's no more. I'm done with master's degree. No, I'm not going for no PhD. I'm not doing it. I don't care about the title being called doctor. I'm not doing that. Dream car. Um, an Audi right now. It's the Audi. It's right now, but it was always a Grand Cherokee when I was growing up. But an, um, an Audi. Uh, favorite season. Oh, my favorite season is coming up. My favorite season, y'all. Fall and winter is coming up. Oh, I was born in March. I'm a March baby. I'm a Pisces. Mm, mm. <laughs> so yes. Um, <laughs> uh, it is a lot of work, Melinda. It is. It is. When I was younger, um, <clears throat> I wanted to be a pediatrician. Uh, but then I realized um, there's blood involved. There's needles involved. You got to pinch a baby with a needle. Um, and now I have too many kids, but I don't want to deal with nobody else's kids. So, <laughs> yeah, that was my was a little pediatrician. That was my dream job. Um, yes, to the Audi. You have an A4. That's nice, Melinda. Um, no, not. Uh, well, it's a master's in organizational leadership. So M-A-O-L. That's going to be my, my thing there. You March 2 when yours. Mine's March 18th. 
on March 18th. I'm a Pisces. Favorite wine. Now, how do you go? Okay, y'all. So my daughter know I'm a wine, wine. I love wine. So um, the, my favorite wine is Moscato. I like a sweet wine. I can't do that dry crap. I'm, that's not me. I love sweet. So Moscato. Uh, right now, Stella Rosa is over here um, showing their ass. Excuse my language, but they showing out, y'all. They got all kind of flavors. So I've been buying almost everything. And since I'm on this healthy lifestyle now, which there'll be another uh, another story time or something like that, another episode. Because I'm on that, I don't drink as much as I used to, but I am stocking up. So um, like today is Saturday, so I might have a little, little later on because, you know, we're going to throw some ribs. My cousin here, he's going to throw them ribs on that grill in a little while. Um, let's see. Favorite game to play? I was a Nintendo head. By the way, yes, I am a gamer. I love video games. Um, I have a PS4 and I rock out with um, The Vision, The Vision 2. Resident Evil, Call of Duty. I like military games. I'm a military girl. I like military games. Uh, favorite Christmas movie? I don't. I, I can't. That's that's rude. <laughs> By the way, that's my favorite season. My favorite uh, holiday is after my birthday is Christmas. Like I can sit here. Hallmark is giving me life right now with all the Christmas movies. So I can't give you one. I, I can't. An old time favorite though is Home Alone. But other than that, I can't give you one. Oh, all my, oh, I see. Oh, y'all got some oddies up in here. Do I like mimosas? Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. I love mimosas. And not just the regular kind with the orange juice, but you know the ones sometimes you put the Moscato in there with the Simply Lemonade Baby Bye. Asia, that's a, make some more drinks, girl. I need some more ideas. I like sweet. Asia be giving me life with them drinks she be making. Oh my gosh. She be giving me, ooh, mm. Um, favorite handbag. <laughs> okay. Handbags. Mm. That's a hard one too, because, um, I'm going to tell y'all a really quick story, just real quick. So my husband, who was not my husband at this time, he was just, uh, he was just my fiance, took me on Valentine's Day to a Louis Vuitton store. We walks in and he says, pick one. <laughs> so I have a unique, exclusive uh, Louis Vuitton bag. I have not been wearing it lately because it's up in my room. I inside of this nice little bag, but it's like a jean, uh, black jean kind. Y'all see? Y'all, y'all, see. <laughs> Who does that? My husband. But yes, I love Louis Vuitton. Um, I have. Oh, I don't know. I don't really. I'm not the Michael Kors person, but my mom did buy me a Michael Kors uh, wallet. Um, I like Prada. Um, I have um, a coach. I have uh, Dooney and Burke. Um, I'm not the big. Pro I don't. I don't know the handbag things like that. I'm not into. If it's cute, I buy it. That's me. Like I have one that's I uh, have Michelle Obama, um, the Essence the Essence magazines covers or Ebony Mag whatever whatever it has all those on it. I love that one too. But that's in the little seal thing too. Um, Barefoot has a great peach wine. I'm gonna check that one out. Stella Rosa is bomb. Yes, one thing on my bucket list apart from traveling. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Hold on. Oh, see my daughter, she came through. She has a Christmas story. I can give you that play by play that. That is one of my favorite Christmas movies, y'all. Yes, I love that. You should your eye out. You should your eye out. Okay. <laughs> um Okay, yes, do that mimosa, um, Asia. I want to see it. Favorite bath and body work set. My daughter is coming through with these. Um, my favorite bath and body work scents are all the ones that well, it's mainly candles and hand soaps, is the fall scents like the um pumpkins and stuff like that, the apples and cinnamons, those are my favorite. As far as body washes, it's the um, aromatherapy selection. 
which is eucalyptus. I love that one. That's my that's, that's my favorite. Um, okay, I'm going to say some of these for later. <laughs> my typical Starbucks order to the T. Can I please get a grande uh, white mocha? Stop it. <laughs> Can we do this all? Because my daughter is making fun of me. So it's a grande two pop uh, white mocha with an extra shot. That is my normal order. I know your order to a tea. See, she said, I know your order to a T. That's why I love having kids that's um, also able to drive. Hey, go get me a Starbucks. You know my order. <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh, oh, the giveaway details. It was, um, um, what do I, what's my tagline at the end of my videos? So that's how I know if people actually watch my videos, it will see you in a pinch. That's my favorite. That's my, uh, my tagline. Um, a movie I've been watching recently. I ain't been watching no movies. <laughs> my kids did me on something called the challenge y'all. I've never seen it before, but now they got me hooked. Um, Oh, we did watch Fatal Attraction. Now, let me tell you, it, that was very predictable. However, I liked it just because of um, Nia Long and Omar. They, To me, they play like roles that they normally wouldn't play, especially Omar. So I really enjoyed it from that aspect. But I mean, it was predictable. Like I was saying, this is about to happen. This is about to happen. This is about to happen. It was very predictable. Okay. Love Fall Sense 2. You can never go wrong with vanilla. I love vanilla too. What is one ingredient you always love to include? Um, y'all, if y'all watch, I think that's gonna be ooh. so. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all what it is right now because I'm gonna do this probably later on in the giveaway one day. The one thing I put on every meal, I'm gonna actually show y'all. I'm gonna, I'm sure. By the way, I'm sure I'm only five three. Y'all, I'm only five three. I'm only five three. This right here. This right here. This 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 is my. It goes on everything. Okay, so y'all know now. Y'all know now. So when I ask that question again later, y'all know. Um, okay, she's I am done. <laughs> That's my daughter, y'all. Y'all told y'all she is the ultimate hype woman. <laughs> she's, yeah, did y'all see my shirt? So this is, this is I'm a mom, classy, bougie, ratchet. My kids are sassy, moody, nasty. Got them. Got me acting stupid. What's happening? I'm a mom. <laughs> so, that's my shirt. So, all right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining me again. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Um, if y'all want to see me do some more of these, let me know. I might start including these in maybe a weekly thing or... I don't know, bi-weekly or something like that. Let me know if you enjoyed, you know, hanging out with me. I really appreciate y'all all being here. Um, it does say different than garlic salt. Uh, she said she was dancing <laughs> when I read the shirt. Um, garlic pepper is so good. It's, it's very good. It's different from salt. I Salt is it's too salty. Um, so, yeah. Also, go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I do have a few videos coming out here soon, you guys. Sorry, I keep saying you guys. I'm going to work on that. I do have a few more videos coming out that I've already recorded. I just need to get in there and edit. Y'all know this. The edit game is brutal. It be brutal sometimes. People like, they, are they going like this? Are they going to say something about this? Oh, I want to make sure I include this. Y'all, my YouTubers, y'all understand this pain, right? Y'all understand the pain. Um, okay, she said, please do more often. I will definitely do more often. So my tagline, my tagline, y'all, here it comes. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in a pinch. Bye. Thank y'all for joining me. I'll see y'all later.